welcome back friends in this series of video i was discussing about the experiment which provide the evidences that the dna is a genetic material out of that i already explained regarding the griffith experiment in the last video to know about it you just click on the above link so based on the result or the interpretation of the griffith experiment of about 16 year later three more scientists that is Avery, MacLeod, and McCarthy. They conducted experiment and they concluded that the DNA is a genetic material. And that experiment is popularly known as Avery's experiment or characterization of a transforming principle. So Avery and his teammate they conducted experiment which is pretty much similar to that of the Griffith experiment. Or one can tell that it is just the continuation of a Griffith experiment. So what Griffith did in his experiment? He used two strains of Diplococcus pneumonia, that is S strain and R strain. So with the help of these two strain, he conducted series of experiment on mouse. In one of his experiment, he injected mixture of heat killed S strain and live R strain to mouse. The result was the mouse died of pneumonia. And Griffith could able to extract live yes cells in that dead mouse. That is what surprised Griffith. Because he did not inject live yes cells. Instead, he injected heat killed yes cells. So heat killed yes cells cannot change into live yes cells, isn't it? So he explained that the R strain is changed into or it is transformed into yes cell. So something from the heat killed yes strain is transferred to R strain that is changed R strain into S strain permanently and he called that as a transforming principle but Griffith could not able to explain the chemical nature of that transforming principle so 16 year later Avery with the help of this experiment could able to explain the biochemical nature of that transforming principle Avery and his colleagues, they did this experiment to identify which molecular component is responsible for transformation of R strain to S strain. So molecular component means whether it is a carbohydrate, lipid, proteins, RNA or DNA. So which molecule is responsible for transformation or in other words, which is the transforming principle. So to find out that, Avery and his colleagues, they have added two steps to the regular Griffith experiment. So regular Griffith experiment includes injecting mixture of heat killed S strain and R strain to mouse. So to that regular Griffith experiment, prior to that they did two steps. In the first step, they homogenized or ground up heat killed S strain and they have got the extract of heat killed S strain. So that is the first step. In the second step, to the extract that they have got from the heat killed S strain, they have added different enzymes. So they have added different enzymes in different experiment. For example, in the first experiment, to the extract that they have got from the heat killed S strain, they added carbohydrate digesting enzyme. Carbohydrate digesting enzyme means enzyme which digests the carbohydrate. So when they add this enzyme, all the carbohydrate which is present in this extract are destroyed. Later, R strain is added to this and the mixture was injected into mouse and the result was mouse dies of pneumonia which shows that there was a transformation process or the R strain which is present in this mouse is transformed into S cell and it is this S cell which caused pneumonia to this mouse and mouse dies of pneumonia. So although all carbohydrate which is present in this extract are destroyed, the transformation process took place or there was no effect for the transformation process in the absence of a carbohydrate which suggests that carbohydrate is not the transforming principle or carbohydrate is not responsible for transformation of R strain to S strain. So that is about the first experiment. In the second experiment, lipases are used. Lipases means the enzyme which digests the lipids. So all the lipid which is present in the extracts are digested by the lipase and the same procedure were undertaken and the result was the mouse dies of pneumonia which shows that 
the lipids are not the transforming principle because even in the absence of lipid there was a transformation process and mouse dies of pneumonia so lipid is also not transforming principle in the third experiment proteases are used proteases means the one which digests the protein so all the protein which is present in this extract was digested by proteases and the same procedure was done again the result was mouse dies of pneumonia which suggests that the proteins are not the transforming principle again in this next experiment the rnas are used rnas are the enzyme which digests the rna so all rna which is present in this extract are destroyed by rnas and the same procedure was done again the mouse dies of pneumonia which suggests that the rna is not transforming principle because even in the absence of rna the transformation process was took place and the mouse dies of pneumonia so which shows that rna is also not transforming principle in the next experiment dnas are used dnas or deoxyribonuclease are the enzyme which digests the dna so when this enzyme is added all the dna which is present in this extract was destroyed by dnas later live arsen was added to this and the mixture of that was injected into mouse so this was a lucky mouse because the mouse was alive in this case or mouse did not die of pneumonia so which suggests that there was no transformation process or the r strain was not transformed into s strain or it remained as a r strain and this r strain was killed by host immune cell so because of that the mouse alive or mouse lives so when all the dnas are destroyed the process of transformation was affected or it affected the transformation process or in the absence of dna there was no transformation process or the r strain is not converted into s strain so from this avery and his colleagues concluded that it is this dna which is transformed from heat killed s strain to r strain and it converted r strain to s strain or the dna is a transforming principle or it is a hereditary material or genetic material so that is about the avery's experiment so again this experiment is a milestone experiment in the field of biology because it is this experiment which concluded that dna is a genetic material so i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Thank you.